Joining us live is the President of Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, Dr. Francis Fadiyule. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here this morning. Pleasure to have you. The NMA has advised the federal government to again extend the lockdown. Can you please expand shade on what informed this decision? Thank you very much. As uh, we have stated earlier, it is important for us to know that in locking and uh, doing massive testing, the two are geared towards stopping community transmission in the country. As it were now, we are now seeing that the community transmission is going in an exponential manner and every effort should be geared to stop that progression. If we failed at this time, it may get out of hand and we may not be control it. And we should also understand that the two most popular states in this country, Lagos State and Kano State, are having a lot of COVID-19 infection and community transmission within them. And if we do not put everything together to stall it at those states, it can get all uh, through all over the states. Okay, I think the network is uh, breaking. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Okay. Do you think this is sustainable, though, knowing fully well that most Nigerians are economically vulnerable and even entrepreneurs across borders saying this is not sustainable? Well, on our side as doctors, we must be able to give the appropriate scientific and medical uh, advice. It is left for the government to do the needful by providing all other associated uh, support for us to ensure proper lockdown. We have stated that one of the issues plaguing this lockdown is that the palliatives are not sent or distributed fairly to all people that are vulnerable. Secondly, we also need to know that the public may not understand the full grasp of the infection as it were. And we need some form of little enforcement so that we can stop people from taking action at will. And these are the other areas that we expect the government to intensify effort upon. Moreover, the economic issue is also facing us in the face. And we also advise the government to support small businesses as well as those who are daily paid workers so that we can all cooperate with the government. Importantly, this virus is highly contagious. If there are no concerted efforts, for us to stop the transmission, we may be in for a very long time of circle of transmission, peak period, and it will subsequently have a very devastating effect on the economy and livelihood of Nigerians. Nigeria is recording more cases more than ever before. What does this suggest and what should be the next step for us as a nation? Well, the more cases we are seeing may not necessarily mean that we are having higher transmission. When we had community transmission, it has gone beyond our initial protection of Nigerians. You know, it was imported into this country, and we needed to stop it at that time. But we have obviously failed. Now that we have community transmission, two things are very important. We need to have 
massive testing in place. And until we are able to test as many as possible Nigerians, and those who are positive are isolated and treated so that we can stop them from infecting more Nigeria. We may be in for a long time. And the purpose of the lockdown is for everybody to stay so that we can not have much more infection or transmission of the virus. And when we combine it with the testing, with the testing, all those who are positive, if they are taken out of the circulation, I can tell you this is the way in which we can flatten the curve and change the story. Until we do that, we may have to wait for a very long time and we may not find it easy in the country. Okay, let's talk about health workers. More of them are being reported as to um, getting the infection in the line of duty. How can this trend be curbed or better managed so less health workers uh, get infected? Thank you very much. One thing that we have seen is the government definition of frontline health workers. The government had a wrong perception that those that are at the isolation and treatment centers are the frontline health workers. But we on the Nigerian Medical Association and other sister professional associations have told the government that frontline health workers are all health workers staying in all the different uh, hospital outlets within the country. And this means that it is at those areas that it is the weaker, uh, the, uh, the weakest link in the chain. We need PPE distributed to all the uh, hospital outlets so that those who are at those uh, uh, places are properly uh, protected. I must inform us that most of the infections that we have had so far of health workers are not at the isolation or treatment centers. They are at the other hospitals where they see patients as just a normal patient, not knowing that they are COVID-19 positive. So for us to, 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 to stall this transmission to health care workers, we need to have fair distribution of the PPEs, PPE to all the hospitals so that every frontline doctor anywhere in this country can be properly uh, kitted and protect themselves from being infected. All right, before I let you go, sir, what would you say Nigeria is getting it right in its approach to tackling the virus? What else do you think they can they do? The Nigerian government needs to get to get more information to the public. There are still so many people who are still in denial state. We have a lot of our traditional and religious leaders who are given misleading information, we need to do proper advocacy. We need to improve our education, community education. And again, the government needs to quickly get increased number of test uh, kits available. You are aware that Kano State, in the last two, three days, they have not been able to test anybody because the molecular lab was closed down. We need at this time to have other alternatives that we can quickly test Nigerians and be able to isolate those who are positive. And we need to plead with the governors, the government and politicians especially. When we are talking about issues of health, and this coronavirus infection, which is a scientific uh, 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 discourse, it is nothing that a governor can just wake up and make a proclamation without having a scientific basis. 
they need to listen more to the scientists, get the proper advice before giving directive. A lot of false information is in the public, and we need to be able to give proper information and with the support of proper palliative distribution, we may be heading towards a successful containment of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time with us in the news.